if you are watching this video i assume you have zero knowledge about how capture one pro work or you have little knowledge about how capture one pro works so stay tuned because in today's video i'm going to walk you through how capture one pro actually works hello youtube victor here i'm a professional photographer check out my instagram at talents underscore visual so right now i'm just going to open capture one and capture one is a real processing software that's similar to lightroom and uh, camera Raw, adobe camera Raw. So, a lot of photographers use um, Lightroom and Camera Raw to edit their raw files, but I prefer to use Capture One. I prefer I prefer to use Capture One because um, I started photography with Capture One, and this is what I was taught. So, this is um, Capture One interface. After you finish opening your Capture One, this is what your Capture One is going to look like, like this. If you are using Capture One for the first time or you are opening Capture One for the first time, it's probably not going to show you this screen right here. It's going to show you to create a new section. It's going to show you something like this. So I'm just going to name this section Section 1. I'm going to Section 1. I'm going to name this that. I'm going to click OK. This is the section I just created. If you check here, it's gonna show section one. Check here, it's gonna show title section one. So this is the section I just created. If you use Lightroom, please let me know in the comment section. So I'm just gonna walk you through Capture One Pro in this video. So and in my next video, uh, I'm actually gonna show you guys how I use Capture One. So this is the library where if you import files, where you're gonna be seeing the files that you import. And this is the import this is where you export um here is like a camera like you can connect your camera to capture one and uh, you just get your camera settings here and all that while right here is for lens correction you can actually correct correct your lens with this one here is the color tab um this is where i do most of my capture one work in this color tab um here here is your instagram your, your not Instagram, your histogram. Um, here is your layers. You can actually create layers in the um, Caption One, just like you create layers in Photoshop. And here's your uh, basic analysis. What this actually does is that you can shoot it in icon camera and and uh, change the settings and um, it will look as if the image was shot with an icon or a Fuji or a Sony camera. Just whichever camera you want to set it to. That's what this place is for. I use this a lot. Right here is a uh, where you can color grade your images, where you can adjust colors. Um, this is the basic, this is the advanced. Um, in my next video, I'm going to show you how all this actually works because I use this this part this um, color tab a lot. Why right here is where you can adjust your skin tone. I'm also going to show you guys how I adjust skin tones for my images. And um, here is a uh, white balance where you can change your white balance. And yes, uh, color balance. You can add a particular color to the whole of your image with the master. There's a three way. This three way consists of the shadow, shadow, metals, and highlights. Then, if you can work on them here, or you can just come here and add any color you want to add to your shadows. Come here, add any color you want to add to your highlights. And come here, add um, any color you want to add to your highlights here. And here, any color you want to add to your metal. So, um, here is where you can actually change your image to white and black um if you shoot if you like uh, a lot of white and black pictures all you have to do is just come here click here and your image will turn to to white and black i'm going to show you that in my next video i'm um, just this video i'm just going i'm just showing you um how um my ways around capture one um here normalize i don't know what this is i don't i have never used use this so i don't know what it's for here we have the um, exposure tab and um, we also have the histogram here we have layers here too and um, this is the exposure tab where you can increase your exposure or reduce your exposure you have the contrast where you can reduce your contrast or add contrast to your image where you can choose the brightness add brightness to the image same thing with saturation you can increase your saturation or you can decrease your saturation we also have the white balance here where you can adjust the white balance to the image clarity i don't use, i don't use clarity but i think if you use clarity it's going to sharpen your image um more than the original image it's going to sharpen it a bit and um high dynamic range i use this a lot this is what i use this particular tab and um, color tab is what i use a lot 
you can actually increase or decrease your highlights with capture one this is what i love about capture one where you, will, you can be able to reduce your highlights uh, your shadows your whites and your black you can work on them separately this is the haze i don't use the haze so i don't know what is this for curves i use curves a lot but not on capture one photoshop uh, i'm gonna do a video about curves uh, but you can use curve to add words to your image to add greens to your image and to add blues to your image and here we have levels i use levels also i use levels and high dynamic range and um color tab in capture one a lot so here you can actually um also just like curves you can add red green and blues to your image and you can also add contrast to your image with curves and here is vignette thing where you can actually add vignette to your image so that's what this um exposure tab contains this next tab is called the details tab and um, if you have an image inserted here the image is going to show here just like a navigator this is the name navigator so you're going to be seeing your image here we also have layers here we have focus i don't i don't use focus so i don't really know i don't really use this tab so i don't know here is where you can sharpen your image i've used this once you can actually sharpen your image here here's where you can reduce noise from your image if your image has noise you can reduce it from here and um, here is where you can add noise or greens to your image adding greens to your image actually a little bit of greens or noise to the image actually make your image stand out it makes it look good uh, I don't know what this is I can't even pronounce it so I don't use it uh, spot remover uh, yeah I use spot remover once for wedding um, wedding wedding picture to own spots on the bride's face because I edit wedding pictures with capture one I don't think I hardly take them to Photoshop so I did most of my weddings with capture one so this is what this tab is for why this next one is called the adjustment this is where you can actually add presets like a Photoshop preset or Photoshop actions this is where you can add capture one action uh, preset um, capture one style of editing like presets this is it where you can add presets uh, like I said if you want me to do more videos about capture one just leave it in the comment section and tell me to do more videos about capture one and uh, I'll make a video about capture one so why this one is the information tab where you can get information about the image you uploaded everything about the image so you're going to get it in this information tab why here is um output settings if you want to um you finish editing and you want to send uh like a um, multiple picture art like you want to export multiple picture art this is where you come yeah you can change if you want to export T T I F you can T C I F F you can change it to any type of file you want but um, i use jpeg so i just click on jpeg i click on jpeg then um here here is where um, this is just the basic permission you can increase um, the quality of the image here um jpeg you want to have jpeg or it's jpeg here the uh output location where you want the files to be saved here the adjustment you made if you want it to be saved also i don't know what this is but just leave it like this here is where you can add watermark to your picture if you have a watermark just click on if you have a watermark just click on image and drag the image here but you can you can actually text and you can actually also text you can use text and just text like um anything you want to text text it here it, it, will, it, will, it will save as a watermark on the image where here is also where you can also change the lo it location here and here is where you can change the name of the file you are sending out why once you click once you've done all that you're just gonna come here again you're just gonna come here again here again and uh, once you're here all you have to all you, all you have to do is just click process and all your images is selected here all your images selected here will be saved to the spec to this to the to the um, location you want them to save to um here is um, the reset when let's say you are editing and you want to go back to the to the like you, want, you just want to go back to the beginning you can click reset here you can click here it will it will reset why if you want to go back to like you made a mistake and you just want to undo that particular mistake you can click on undo undo here 
then if you feel like you've you like you double click this undo so many times this undo so many times you can just click on redo and here is where you can just automatically edit an image you can just pick an image here and click and click here and the image will just edit automatically so that's what this is for so here is um the select tool here is the palm tool where you can actually click on the, you can actually click like drag your images around here's the zoom tool here's the crop tool here's where you can use to straighten your image you can just see the name here the names are here and uh, here you can also use how to straighten your image this is the brush to case you mask and uh, you just want to mask a particular piece of an image you can mask or capture one yes i can show you that if you just want more videos about capture one just leave a comment below and i'm going to make more videos about capture one here is your um spot healing brush tool where you can clean spots from uh, your subject face here is your eraser tool here is your picker tool where you can actually pick colors or adjust white balance here is where you can copy and paste um edits like let's say you edit a picture and you can copy what you edited and paste it in a similar picture here is it here is where you can draw like a right text on your image here's where you can see your before your before and after here is where you can just make your pick your photo grid like you can just put this grid above your picture so you can know the pixels you are working with here's the exposure one in case you are having high exposure it's gonna it's gonna be shown red i'm gonna show you all this in my next video i'm just walking you through capture one on this video here you can click here and learn more about capture one they're going to take the official website and you can learn more about capture one here is where you can select multiple pictures to edit at once right here is um where you can copy edit just like this just like here where you can copy this is another place where you can copy and paste if you open here it's going to show you paste also copy then apply here same thing copy and apply it's about that's that for um capture one this is just uh, an introduction introductive video to capture one like i said here's the library here is where you can actually um snap a picture and whatever picture you're sorry about this uh, whatever picture you're snapping as you take the, you can tether your camera yes you can tether your camera with capture one with this folder just connect a cable and everything you're doing your camera is going to appear on capture one if you take a picture the image you just took it's going to show on the screen on this capture one you can actually do a lot of camera settings with this um with this place right here but uh i actually don't use it but you can just experiment with it so um thank you so much guys if you enjoyed this video please uh, leave a thumbs up comment and uh, share with other photographers who you think really need to see this video um don't forget to subscribe and uh, also check out my instagram i'm gonna be leaving um a link uh for you to download capture one in the description below and um, if i'm not able to leave a link um just send me a uh, a message on instagram my instagram handle i'm gonna put it on the on the screen right now um silence visual underscore so i'm just gonna put it on the screen right now you can send me uh, a dm on instagram and uh, i'm gonna send you a link where you can download capture one so you can work with me and as i'm editing you can be practicing it like that so thank you guys very much in my next video uh, i'm gonna show you guys what i actually do on capture one I actually edit image on capture one so see you guys on my next video stay tuned